Lord Levy. Good morning. Lovely to see you. Um, what is it that makes Jewish Care and its services so special? Jewish Care's role in the community, Kay. Frankly, it's crucial to the community because it just deals with the needs of our community in residential care, in daycare, Alzheimer's units, Holocaust Survivor Centre. Whatever needs our community has, Jewish Care is there to cater for those needs and to deal with it. So the role of Jewish Care is primary in the lives of Anglo Jewry. We care for over 10,000 people a week. That's the significance of Jewish care, and that is the role of Jewish care. Tell me about this unit in particular. We're in, in Golders Green, aren't we? We are. We're in Golders Green, which is one of the real hubs of Anglo Jewry. We're in the Morris and Vivian World Campus in the Otto Schiff home, and it's just part of a multifaceted centre that we have here, from residential to flats to daycare to an all sorts of facilities. You wander around, Kay. Saw the hairdressers. You saw the hairdressers. Might pop in. <laughs> you may do that. Um, and the cafe. We have the head office here. I mean, it's just a hive of activity. And this whole facility here, I'm sure you've seen around, is just quite Love amazing. Love this work on the artwork on oh, the wall. Oh, that's just done brilliant. By local, this this has been award-winning yeah. and done by the residents of the, the residents, home. Yeah. I mean, which is quite fantastic when you see the skill they've put into this. And every one of our residents is proud that they are part of this facility of Jewish care. And we're proud to have them here. You know, you come through stages in life and you get to a stage in life where you need care, you need help. There's nothing to be ashamed of in needing or wanting that. And we're proud as an organisation that we can facilitate that and we can bring out this sort of work, the talents that people have that somehow perhaps they'd forgotten over the years. But we try and look at every one of our residents as individuals to bring the best out of them, to make the latter part of their life as wonderful as it possibly can be. We're all living longer. Um, dementia is a challenge that is facing society generally, but it's something that you are very aware of within Jewish care and you're doing what you can to help, especially in centres like this. It's a real problem, of course, not just in our community. It's a national problem. It really is an issue that we all have to somehow look at and know how we can help those who are beginning to suffer with dementia. Yes, thank God we are living longer. When I first got involved, the average age in one of our residential homes was perhaps late 60s, early 70s. The average age now is probably in the 90s. And we have a number of residents who've hit that wonderful mark of 100 years, which I think is fantastic. And if they are cared for and looked after, it's amazing, some people have come into our homes, they've perhaps been given months. Eight, nine years later, they're doing brilliantly well. It doesn't always happen, but it does happen, and it can happen. And it's our responsibility to give the maximum we can to help everyone that comes into our care. It's a year of change for Jewish care, isn't it? Tell me about it. It is a year of change. It's an important year of change because our chief executive, Simon Morris, is retiring, and he's a wonderful guy who has done an amazing job of work for Jewish care. Over this last period of time, he has really led the organisation, taken it to new heights. It is recognised on the national scale as a r real leading organisation in terms of care. And to Simon, I just say, well done, my friend. You've been a brilliant chief executive and great success to you for the future. And thank you for everything you've done. Who is he handing the baton over to? And he's handing the baton over to Daniel Carmel Brown, another great guy who's been part of the family of Jewish care for probably 20 years plus. And Daniel is so looking forward to this role. It was a difficult task in deciding who should take over. And we really went into depth with many candidates. And I'm thrilled for Daniel that he's got this role as chief executive. I'm confident he is going to do an amazing job for Jewish care. And to you, Daniel, good luck 
great success to you for the future. You've been involved for three decades. We've known <laughs> each other almost that amount of time. What inspires you to continue working with Jewish Care? I think the inspiration of Jewish Care is I just feel part of the family. It is so meaningful to me to see what we do, to see our new buildings going up, to see our new home in Stanmore, to see our new flatlet scheme in Hendon, that we're continually progressing, we're continually aiming to be that much better and to be a beacon, not just to our community, but on a national level. I find that inspiring. When I look around, and as you put it, over the last three decades, having been involved, and I see what has been achieved, and I see the wonderful people that are an inspiration to me, that is what keeps me motivated. And what is your message to people in the room this evening? My message to each and every one of you, from the youngsters in the room to those who've been involved with Jewish care as long as me, and in some cases, longer, thank you. Without each and every one of you, Jewish care would not be what it is today. You are the backbone of this organization. You have made what we do and what we have achieved possible. So from really, from the bottom of my heart, I thank each and every one of you for your support, for your friendship, and what you have helped achieve for Jewish care. Thank you.